Let's try another spearmint uh, here, ladies and gentlemen. Again, to refresh your memory, if you're just joining us, one of the comments from a ranking leader, the NAALCP, after Romney's speech yesterday, her name was Charlotte Stoker Manning. She is the chairwoman of women in the NAALCP. She told the website BuzzFeed, this is the source for it, in case you want to independently confirm this for yourself. Following Romney's speech, the NAALCP in Houston on Wednesday, Charlotte Stoker Manning said to BuzzFeed, or BuzzFeed, sorry, you can't possibly talk about jobs with black people at a level Romney's coming from. He's talking about entrepreneurship, savings accounts. Black people can barely find a way to get back and forth from work. They don't know savings accounts, entrepreneurship. So let's try an experiment. Let's pretend that Romney went in and spoke to the members of the NAALCP in a way that Charlotte Stoker Manning says that he would have related better, would have succeeded. Let's pretend that Romney was there and he said, I'm not here to talk to you about jobs, certainly not jobs in the way I understand them. I don't want to talk to you and waste your time about entrepreneurship, uh, starting your own businesses, being financially independent. I, I don't want to talk to you about savings accounts, 401ks, retirement funds, planning for your future, because I know that you people are barely bright enough to get back and forth to work if you can find a job. So I don't want to talk to you the way I talk to most everybody else about jobs. I want to talk to you in a way you understand it. And that is, you don't have any, and you don't know how to find one. And if you do find one, all you can barely manage to do is get back and forth to it. Now, what if he'd said that? What if Romney had approached the members of the NAALCP as Charlotte Stoker Manning seems to have suggested would have been a better way to do it. There would have, folks, I shudder to tell you what the news last night and all day today would be. If Romney had gone it yet, Romney can go in there and treat them as adults, as equals. He can relate to them as human beings who have the same aspirations that he does that he understands they're no different than he is. They want the same thing he wants, and vice versa. He wants the same thing they want. And the reaction is he's too white, he doesn't get it, he's too rich. We want Obama. We want 14.5% unemployment, not 14.4. We want more food stamps. We want. And by the way, who do you to come in here talks about jobs? You don't understand jobs like we do. It, 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 it's mind-boggling. This organization, which was founded by three rich white people, you know that? Not that it matters to anything now. Three rich white people founded the NAACP. Right? If Republicans, in fact. Rich white Republicans founded the NAACP. The first president of the NAACP was a rich white Republican. All of its original officers, except one, were rich white Republicans. All of its early members and officers, black or white, were Republicans. The NAACP was formed to fight Jim Crow laws, which were instituted in the South to keep blacks and poor whites from voting for Republicans. And now the NAACP has become an organization expressly devoted to keep blacks from voting for Republicans. Pure and simple. That's all it exists for. Make sure they don't vote for Republicans. That's it. Because that's how the leaders of the NAACP remain at the table of power at the Democrat Party. They are part of the Civil Rights Coalition, and their job is to turn out that vote every four years for the Democrat candidate. doesn't matter who or what he or she is. That's the express reason for the NAACP's existence. It's a primary objective is to make sure that blacks don't vote Republican. That's all it's for. 
because it's certainly not accomplishing anything else. Is it? 